Hi, this is James. I am the unofficial mayor of Cowboy Country. Welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you are here. I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. Um, this has been a long time coming because I've had a lot of feelings and emotions about changes that have happened to the Big 12. Um, I know some people will be like, well, why do you care? You're not even from this area of the country. You were born in upstate New York. But when I got out of the Army in 1996, I chose to make Oklahoma my home. And for the majority of my lifetime, I have lived in either Oklahoma, Texas, or Missouri. Okay? Um, by the way, as a side note, I have an interview tomorrow for a, a job in Oklahoma City. So... There's a good chance I might actually get to move back to Oklahoma. Uh, you know, but a lot of people were happy. A lot of people within the Big 12 were happy that Texas lost to Texas Tech and OU lost to Kansas State. I wasn't surprised. Two years ago, Kansas State lost to Central Arkansas and then turned around the next week and beat OU in Norman. Happened again this year. They lost to uh, Tulane, turned around, got their act together, and beat o OU in Norman. By the way, don't underestimate o OU's offense. That's not why they lost. Uh, they got a good quarterback. They got a really good running back in gray. I, I, have, a, I have a lot of respect for him. Um, just... I would like to see him get amnesia and forget how to play football the day before Bedlam, but, you know, that's here nor there. How, the question I want to pose to you is how did we get to where we are today? It was OU and Texas that decided to come together, bring the Big 8 with four teams from the old Southwest Conference to make the Big 12. They're the ones who did this. And I thought it was a really good idea. Real good idea. The only problem is the way they structured it, OU and Nebraska didn't play every year. They only played two games every four years. That's what's really killed the OU-Nebraska rivalry. But what really hurt the Big 12 was its Tier 3 rights. They all agreed that Tier 1 and Tier 2 go to Fox and ESPN. And then Tier 3, if you could make your own network, you know, by streaming or whatever, you could do that. And everybody's like, well, yeah, sure, with the Internet, things are, are improving with the Internet. We can watch uh, fans of ours can watch our team on our network on the internet or wherever. And then Texas went to ESPN and got the Longhorn Network. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. That's when a and and Missouri and Colorado and Nebraska said, Bye! So we're in this position that we're in and I don't, bl I don't blame OU for wanting to go to the SEC. Texas, I don't, I don't understand at all. They're, they're making more money than anybody. But they're going to the SEC. Even though, to be honest, Texas, you're the one who caused this problem. Tell me, honestly, tell me if A&M, Missouri, Colorado, and Nebraska were still in the Big 12, TCU and West Virginia weren't, that our TV deal wouldn't be as good as either the Big Ten or the, or the SEC. Tell me that's not true. You wonder why everybody in the conference does this. Because since day one, you and OU got your way whenever you wanted it. 
And now you're going to jump ship and go to the SEC. Well, guess what? Bye. There's a saying in the South. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. I'm done. Because guess what, guys? The frustration that I feel is felt by Big 12 fans all over the region. And guess what's going to happen? You are going to get every team's absolute best effort. It'll be like it'll be like every game you're playing is like the is as is as high stakes to them as if they were playing in the Big 12 championship. They're going to give you their absolute best effort. That's why Texas Tech won. That's why Kansas State won. We're all sick and tired of hearing about how the SEC is the best conference in football or the SEC and the Big Ten are somehow so much better than everybody else. Kansas has improved. Tech, TCU is better than I thought they were going to be. Texas Tech is doing really well. See, I didn't understand the whole connection that Joey McGuire has with a whole bunch of high school coaches in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. He is going to use those relationships to recruit some of the best players in all of Texas to go to Texas Tech. Kansas is much better. Man, I, f I feel so. I felt bad for the fans in Kansas. They were, there, they were like the New Orleans Saints of the Big 12. You know, they could they could have put bags on their head and wrote KU fan, just like they used to do in New Orleans where they wrote the Aints. Yeah, we're the Aints. We ain't the football. We ain't the basketball team. But Kansas has improved. Congratulations, Lance Leopold. Leipold. Iowa State's got a stud for a young quarterback in Hunter Deckers. He just needs a little bit of time. He's going to be really good. West Virginia's got their uh, defensive problems fixed, it seems. But with JT Daniels as their quarterback, they'll get into a shootout with anybody and have a fighter's chance. And, of course, Oklahoma State's got one of the best defensive lines in the country and a senior quarterback. So guess what? OU in Texas, you're going to get everybody's best shot. It's not going to be pretty. And at the end of the year, you're going to regret going to the SEC. And, it, and it's not because I don't think that you're going to do well. Because to be honest, look at the SEC, except for Alabama and Georgia. I mean, to be brutally honest, if Oklahoma State had to play any team in the big in the SEC other than Alabama or Georgia, I think they would win. I'm not worried about LSU or Mississippi State or Ole Miss or um, Florida or, or Kentucky, maybe. Um, I still think they have a fighter's chance to win the, the SEC East. Missouri, not worried about them. Vanderbilt, nope. Tennessee, maybe a little bit. Everybody talks about the mighty SEC. But Georgia was a 22-point favorite, and they only won by like 14. When we bring in UCF and BYU, heck, UCF just beat Georgia Tech, and they beat them so bad that Georgia Tech decided to fire their coach. I feel bad for that guy. BYU, I was just in Provo. This last weekend. You know what I learned? That's a great environment. That is a great environment for college football. 
I can't wait for the for BYU to join the Big 12. BYU is a better school to have in the Big 12 than either OU or Texas. You want to know why? Because their fans act like decent human beings. They don't walk around thinking they're better than everybody else. And I, I my only regret is you can't order a cougar tail by by mail. If you could m mail though and have it ship UPS in some kind of cooler, oh, they were so good. You got to if you go to Provo, you have to get a cougar tail. It is amazing. Unless you're a diabetic, because that thing will kill you. I mean, I was on a sugar high for a quarter, and then I started to come down, and I'm like, whoa, man, why am I so tired? <laughs> but Houston? Houston has good facilities. I mean, the stadium, I mean, it's, it's functional. It looks different. I like the fact that it looks different. It doesn't look like everybody else's. But Houston was smart. Houston put their money in their indoor practice facility and locker room. Anything the players would touch on a daily basis, that's where the Houston put their money. And that's why Houston's getting good recruits. And, of course, Cincinnati made the playoff last year. Big 12 is going to be just fine. Now, here comes the last question. Now, I've been wrestling for this with a, for a while. Because... There is a legitimate rumor that if the grant of rights for the ACC can't be broken, there's rumors floating around the SEC wants ACC teams. They want Clemson. They want Florida State, possibly Miami, possibly North Carolina. I've heard a few other teams mentioned as well. I don't think going to 20 would be smart because any television deal you have Unless the contract specifically says if you add teams, the value of the contract increases. If it doesn't, then a billion dollars split 20 ways is, is still 50 million a team. So by having less teams in the conference, then you, you don't have to split up the money as, as each basically each team would get more money so it's in the sec's best interest to stay at 16 but let's just say the sec wants to expand they can't get the acc teams well who would you go after well west virginia has proven with their game against pitt and their game against um uh, Virginia Tech, that they bring people, they bring television viewers. I don't think Virginia Tech would be a good fit in the SEC. I honestly think they would be a better fit in the ACC. Because then you have some of those old rivalries, Pitt, Vatech, Syracuse, even Miami. And trust me, Virginia versus West Virginia is, would be a really good rivalry. It just... They've never been in the same conference. Who else would the SEC go after? If I was the SEC, I would pick a Texas school that's in the Big 12 and Oklahoma State. Because, quite frankly, the, the state of Texas is going to be the biggest state in the, in the union within the next 10 to 15 years, from what I've read. So if I'm the SEC, I want more Texas schools. And Oklahoma State's a top 10 team. So anyway, that's how I feel about everything with the Big 12. I would honestly prefer Oklahoma State stay in the, in the Big 12 because we have to solidify the center part of the country and, um, and then grow by getting the four corner schools. If you're new to the channel, by the way, if you're new, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers. Uh, you guys are great. I love you guys. And as always, go Pokes. And I will see you later. Bye. Oh, by the way, there'll be no video tomorrow.